genuine Ford parts. All the way from Germany. Oh, cool. Yeah. New front shock absorber. Awesome. That should be everything. Uh, I need, obviously all that, the suspension arms, that should be everything now to get it all straightened up. One per stain. It's done. Are you ready for this? It's nice. Real nice. Check it. Good morning. So I am heading off for my Monday morning appointment at Speedy. They're going to be fitting the tires onto the old 20 inch rims. And they're also going to be putting on the new Ibex springs onto the front shocks. Should be all going to plan, be able to put the back of the shocks, put on the wheels for the first time and see how it looks. I do anticipate though one issue. All that hammer time to remove the bolts from the shocks that hold the knuckle onto the shock look at, at closer inspection I think they have to be replaced I had seen online that people that say when they are seized they do obviously uh, they do get a serious bit of punishment and it's hard to get the nut back on I did try and yeah it's tricky so I'm gonna head off to the Ford garage see what I can get hold of but hopefully it won't be too big a delay but otherwise let's head off to speedy I'll catch you guys there. from speedy all went absolutely fine with that spring compressor they've got they made that job look really easy so I'm pretty pleased in a way that I took it to them on the other hand I really do want one of them spring compressors one that's up to the job so I'm gonna keep an eye out online and see what I can find yeah tires mounted no issues there everything's in the back of the wimpy wagon ready to unload I did swing by Ford because I needed to replace these the, the issue is obviously the idea is to leave the bolt on so not to damage the end of the nut but even then the amount of abuse that I gave to get them off trying to then put the bolt back on it ain't gonna go on so yeah needed four of those and a new nut now I've had zero luck ordering any parts from my local Ford garage for this car until now the good news is I can get them. Bad news is they're not in stock, which means I need to get on order. Soon as I can get them is Wednesday. So until Wednesday, well, let's just go to Wednesday like this, shall we?
Okay, so it's not Wednesday just yet. Almost Wednesday. I was just about to leave and a doorbell rang and a lady gave me this box. It's my spaces. Ordered them Friday. Arrived Monday morning. They're from Velocity, which is like a place in Germany that does American car parts. They're really good. I'll tell you about them on Wednesday. Back to Wednesday. I'm hiding out in the cabin this morning. It is bitterly cold. I believe it's about minus three, minus four outside today. But I still am super motivated to get this job finished today for the suspension and the wheels. So, cool thing is the spacers have arrived. Uh, ST spacers. Uh, they came from Velocity Car Parts in Germany again. I'll put the link in the description below. The wheels are all mounted, ready to go on. The suspension shock absorbers are all got the, the springs on, they're all ready to go back on. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, been to Ford Garage, picked up the bolts and nuts for the shock absorbers. So we're good to go basically. Apart from the weather, uh, this is going to be an awesome day. I can't wait. I say hopefully the adrenaline pumping will keep my hands warm. I really need to get some of them like mechanic gloves, like the proper ones. But anyway, I'm going to get out there. <sighs> and get cracking, let's go. Do it, let's do it. Okay, suspension's on. Ugh. Suspension is on. Time to put the spaces on. Mmm, I'm excited. Oh, spaces came in a black box. They must be good. Black box.
Almost there, yes! This one is bad boy, I must get this done! <sighs> da -da! All the wheels are on, suspension's on, all the arms, suspension arms change on this side. I'm really happy with currently how that is looking. Now, I think I'm just gonna go around, moving it, all the flooring out of the way, putting all the tools back, and then just dropping this car on the floor to see what it looks like. I can't wait, let's go. It's done. Are you ready for this? It's nice. Real nice. Check it. hope you agree I think it looks proper awesome and I think the fitment of the wheels is perfect but I have a confession to make let me explain I took the spaces off why because it just didn't look right I, I lowered the car down I was like well hang on a minute the front wheels are like stuck out from my, from the wheel arch I lowered the first the front right where the wheel arch is slightly bent out and I thought wow that fits perfect and then I lowered the other side and I was like whoa hang on a minute damn to be honest I've taken them out you've seen it now and I think it looks awesome to be honest JP racings with the J or you know, Japanese racing Japan racing sorry with the JR 11s I think they just got it bang on right to be fair there's me thinking I was being clever but I was as I, I wanted because of the delays of the bolts and things I thought well I wanted it to fit perfect I didn't want to I didn't want to put the car down and then go wow it looks really silly because it needed spaces in the end I did the opposite put the car on the floor and thought what a wally I should have been patient but like I say you live and learn, I suppose. So if anybody wants any ST 23mm spacers, hit me up. Other than that, what else did I discover today? That wheel arch, now, and the wheel. I've been having a really good look at this. Have a look. I'm not sure if you can see how badly that is pushed in, but it's actually sort of pushed, cracked and pushed all the way in. 
but I'm gonna look into it and yeah my, I'm leaning now towards just get it replaced when I spray the bumper I'll spray that wing obviously at the same time and yeah it'll just be perfect and the other thing was it's really hard to see I mean even in person it's quite tricky uh, but I think obviously I've got the outer tie rod for this wheel and I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the inner tie rod but I think yeah the alignment obviously with the impact is gone or p-tong shall we say so I'm just waiting for that inner inner tie rod and I'll do the whole obviously steering arm changes there uh, to get that properly in line so things to work on things to obviously have a browse on the internet for parts but the main to be fair look at that just look at it boom well it's safe to say I'm pretty chuffed. I'm loving it. I'm loving those wheels. I'm loving the, the start. Yeah, I'm loving the JR11s. Hang on, let me see if I can find the box. www.jrwheels.com. Yeah, Japanese racing wheels. I told you. I told you good things come in black boxes, and I was bang on right. JR11 wheels. They were awesome. They're brilliant. <sighs> Japanese racing wheels, they're not expensive, but it's the fitment. They, they clearly know what they're doing. Seriously, check them out. The Ibex springs as well. I'm so glad I went for the Sport Line. I was really sat on the fence between the Sport Line and the, what was it called? The Pro Line, which is slightly raised, to, I think, an inch higher. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad I just went all out. Slam it, just slam it because it looks brilliant and I think when you when you're rolling with the 20 inch rims you've got to sit it nice and low uh, so yeah good things come in red boxes as well so thank you IBAC hashtag IBAC yeah so obviously the shame, the shame about it is yeah you can't obviously get all the front angles without the missing bumpers and the missing parts but it was just that the wheels arrived first and I had to put them on didn't I I had to what, what would you do if you were me? Just wang them on, wouldn't you? So that's what I did. To be fair, it's just now I'm super motivated now just to get the do and done. Get once the parts come, get them test fitted on and then get them sprayed up. So yeah, don't miss out. Don't miss out on that because the parts coming, they're on the way. And when they come, we're going to be wanging them on straight off, straight off the bat. So yeah, turn, hit subscribe, post notifications on. I can't wait to get the bumper on this car. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I hope you are as excited as I am. And if you are, subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Comments down below. What do you think? What do you think to that start? Can it get any better than that? I've been wimpy. You've been awesome for watching. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next episode. Later. Ford France. I've literally, I went there to several different garages until they pretty much told me to f off. And I was like, French. Turn your post notifications on, the ring a ding a ling. That way, you'll get a notification the next time me and the Wimpstang are back here on, on the, on the telly. The next time, me and the Wimpstang are going to be back here, in in the in the in there. But make sure you hit it. Do it.